Welcome back to Theotokos on uh, Tuesday of the third week of Advent. Yesterday we unpacked uh, how perhaps Joseph felt unworthy and thus he planned to divorce Mary quietly. Of course, as the story unfolds, we read in Matthew one twenty that such was his intention when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Joseph felt unworthy and God knew it. So God pursued Joseph and in a sense said, do not be afraid, I I will make you worthy. God took the initiative. God did more than enter Joseph's dream. God entered Joseph's unworthiness and thereby reminded him that God makes all things worthy. When we feel unworthy, there's often a deep, subtle, maybe subconscious fear. It's like a dread that our deepest fear is true. A fear that we aren't good enough and God will abandon us. Therefore, as we look at our patterns, we we learn more about ourselves. Many of us, when we feel unworthy, distance ourselves from God. We abandon God before God can abandon us. The good news is that God pursued Joseph. God knew exactly how Joseph felt and said, do not be afraid. Likewise, when you and I feel unworthy and all the fears associated with unworthiness, God whispers to us the same words, do not be afraid. God will never abandon us. And when God has access to every, every, area of our life when God has access to every area of our life he makes all things worthy you are worthy because God is worthy our worth in life has nothing to do with us so the world says it has everything to do with God so listen to me regardless of your past and how many people may or may not have loved you, you are worthy. Regardless of your present and whether or not your life has lived up to the plans you had, you are worthy. Regardless of mistakes, sinfulness, or patterns of distance, you are worthy. Spend some time with God today and and ask him, Why is it that you choose to love me? And ask him, where does my worth come from? For your prayer today, I would invite you to pray with the book of Isaiah, especially chapter 43, verses 1 to 7, and then chapter 49, verses 14 to 16. So again, that's Isaiah 43, 1 to 7, and Isaiah 49, 14 to 16. And then close your eyes. See if you can just imagine Joseph. Imagine what it would have been like for him to have the angel Gabriel reveal himself to him and say that you are worthy. And then pray this prayer with me. Father, I ask for the grace today to taste your love from me at all times. And I beg you to help me understand your patterns and my patterns and how you feel about my feeling unworthy. God bless you.